The 1960s is one of the most exciting decades of the 20th century, and it's a moment when time and the mediation of a conceptual foundation enters the work of art. Uh, there is a new generation of artists that emerges in the year 1961 and they, they're all interested in getting away from painting and from self-expression. So suddenly they all realise that music might be a very interesting place to start. Harry Flint uh, is uh, an artist who's occupying a very, very singular and major position in this show. He is the artist who perhaps has the lar to takes the larger distance on art of all the artists included in the show, perhaps. One of the fascinating aspects of this moment at the beginning of the 60s is its interdisciplinarity. So we begin with composers and we move into a, a community of activity in New York where you have dancers, poets, composers, visual artists all sharing a concert space. The big movements of the 1960s that are much better known, minimalism and conceptual art, it's the thesis of this exhibition that they began here in this much more experimental context in a loft in downtown New York belonging to the artist Yoko Ono who gave her space for all different kinds of concerts curated by Lamont Young. The exhibition has actual dance in the middle of sculptural pieces and conceptual pieces. So all the way through the exhibition, you'll see live dance in a space constructed very like the one in New York in 1961. Lamont Young, who's a very important figure in this story, is at this moment on the West Coast and he is writing musical scores based on instructions. So he starts reducing the actual role of notes and it becomes much more about ideas. Robert Morris has now become a very famous figure of minimalism. But what's very interesting here is you see a genesis that perhaps you didn't expect with a phenomenological engagement of space. George Brecht is uh, one of the artists who really connects the score with objects and the, ob the person he's thinking of who invented the idea of a, ready a, a regular everyday object in the context of art is Marcel Duchamp. So Duchamp invents the ready-made. He, he takes an everyday object out of its condition of use and puts it in a museum and calls it a work of art. Brecht, in fact, add use back to the object. So you're meant to drink wine out of the glass, you're meant to use the sink, and then he adds a score to it to give it a dimension of time.